I'm very excited to share a new book of poetry with you by a new poet to me, but because of his stature, it seems like I should have known him all of his life. The book is called The Conference of the Birds, and the poet is Atar, and on the back cover it says, Considered by Rumi to be the master of Sufi mystic poetry, Atar is best known for this epic poem, a magnificent allegorical tale about the soul's search for meaning. So let me share a poem with you called The Valley of Knowledge. And uh, just sit back and enjoy, really. Next, enter the valley of knowledge with its boundless myriad of roads, unfurling in every direction. Here, no path resembles the next. Here, the traveler of the body is different from the traveler of the soul. Here, both body and soul progress, regress, decline, and rise, each according to its own worth. In this Abrahamic place, how can a sickly spider keep up with the elephant's pace? Your journey is greased by your own measure and maturity. A fly can flap its wings all that it wants, but how can it keep up with the wind? We each travel our own path. No two birds fly the journey the same. Here, knowledge splits into unnumbered insights. One person finds it in a church or a mosque. Another finds it in a shrine for idols. When the sun of knowledge shimmers in the beloved's exalted sky, each traveler is given sight. According to his own measure and share, each traveler regains her true rank. The secret of every atom will be unveiled, and this ash pit world will sprout into a rose garden. Then you will see past the shell into the kernel of everything. You will see yourself as nothing. Become blind to everything except for the friend. A hundred thousand mysteries will be unmasked, and for every hundred thousand who lose their way, only one will arrive. It takes a stout soul of the way to dive headlong into that bottomless sea. If mysteries excite you, then each moment will bloom a new yearning in your soul. Here, unending thirst prevails. Here, a hundred thousand sacrifices are necessary. If you reach that great throne, do not boast. Rather ask, is there more? Drown yourself in that ocean of knowledge, or else rub the road's dust upon your head. If you do not come here a worshiper, then go away. Weep, sleepy one. If you are not joyful in your union with the beloved, keep on mourning your separation. If you do not see the beloved's face, get up. What are you waiting for? Go look for it. Shame on you. If you don't know the taste of desire, don't drift like an idle, aimless ass.